Quilt's journey to the silver screen might have been as long as Rapunzel's hair, but when it arrived, boy was it golden. It pulled in 590 million worldwide and re-energized interest in Disney's Princess franchise, which might be why a sequel is coming out already. Well, a mini-sequel. Seems that with Toy Story and now Tangled, Disney is back in the shorts business. But is it in the name of creative enrichment or pimping out their most popular franchises to help out new movies? In Rapunzel's case, her five to six minute short, Tangled Ever After, will be put in front of Disney's theatrical release of Beauty and the Beast 3D. Now, while I'm as excited as the next girl to see the latest chapter in the life of Rapunzel and Flynn Rider, even if it is more of a footnote, all these shorts do is frustrate me. Why? Because I'm not paying the full price of a movie ticket for six minutes of something I want to see, followed by 84 minutes of something I could take a pass on. That's right, I got sucked into Lion King 3D Mania, and let me tell you, the only 3D thing about it was Zazu's butt in my face for about three seconds at the beginning of the movie. Disney, you're right. Children of all ages love your movies, but that doesn't make it cool to steal candy money from us babies. What do you think? Will you head to theaters to see Tangled Ever After, or wait for it to air on the Disney Channel in the spring? Or were you planning on seeing Beauty and the Beast 3D anyway? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.